Welcome back, everybody. Flame fashions are a hot new trend that are heating up stores everywhere. And Orly Shani is here to show us how we can recreate these yeah. looks for a lot less. A whole lot less. Yeah. This is really fun. So I originally saw this idea. I was perusing Fashion Week photos, you know, street style photos from Fashion Week, because it's a really great place to kind of see what's up and coming. And well, this is another photo that I saw that actually reinforced that this yeah. was on trend because mm -hmm. when this chick does it, of course, then it's everywhere, mm -hmm. right? So that's the first photo I saw right there. And I saw those pants and I thought that was so adorable, the little flames mm -hmm. on the bottom. And then I saw this photo of Kylie, which she's doing this whole launch and it's in a sweatsuit. So I sure. love the idea that you could do it on anything. So I'm wearing it right here on a leather skirt and mine is leather on leather, which is a very sort of oh, specific so cool. vibe, kind of hot yeah. rod vibe. But then we did it on denim here and we did it on this little baby jacket. So Aww. I mean, <laughs> I know. I mean, I, I can't get home to Blake fast enough to put that sucker on her. Like, I'm, I I, I'm a little disappointed, though, because you usually bring it, and I thought for I sure you were actually going to light yourself on fire. That's what I thought the segment was. Wait for the clothes, Mark Stein. Oh, there it is. I was like, <laughs> I got you covered. Like, just yeah. real fire. Real fire. This would also look good on your character from Backdraft. That was mm -hmm. many moons ago, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You yeah. could have worn an outfit um, like this. I'll, just, I'll leave too. my skirt for you in your trailer. Mm -hmm. Right. It's all yours. Wow. I don't, you know what? It's going a whole lot of Home places. Home and family on a whole lot of places. I want to this orally. So the first thing we need right here is your template. Um, we created this here, and we put it up on our website. That way you guys can just go ahead and download it. Mm -hmm. This particular one is six and a half inches tall, which is going to work for a skirt or, you know, an adult pair of pants. Okay. And then we have this little itty-bitty stuff. <laughs> Oh. for kids clothes if you do want to do something like that. Oh, so baby. we'll have these. That's yeah, exactly, oh. right? It's so sweet. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to do is pick your fabric. Now, there's a few different things to consider. The one that I have, I first cut it out in red, then I cut it out in yellow, and I drew in the orange in order to cut out an entire step. Originally, oh, I had planned on uh. all three colors, and that was just crazy. The other way is just to do the... Um, the yellow and the orange. Right. So that's up to you. So what you're gonna do is, is trace it, and you're gonna start by measuring how much you need going around your pants here. So okay. these pants are seven and a half, which around would be 15 inches. So I okay. need 15, 15 inches. You should get the skinny ones, because then it would be like four inches. Well, actually, <laughs> so glad you mentioned that, Mark. You kind of can't, unless you're using a really, really stretchy fabric. Once you put the flame on there, like if we do it in a cotton, it's no longer oh, it's stretchy. No longer. You can, yeah. yeah. So you actually kind of want to do it on more straight of a straight leg. leg. Plus, if it was really small, it would be a spark. It wouldn't be a flame. Right, exactly. <laughs> Just a few there. embers. See, see what it, happened there? See what off. happened there? Right. Yeah. Gotcha. So Got this it. is what we would do. Jokes. And basically, you're just going to trace it. And it yeah. doesn't even need to be very perfect because you're going to go inside the line or you're going to do it eating my own hair, sorry. Or you're going to do it on the reverse side of the fabric. So what I did on the suede was I flipped it over and did it on the reverse side, mm -hmm. that way when I, you know. So here we go, right? We draw it right over here is a great example of, of how it will start to look. Once you have your one panel, then you're gonna cut it out. You need very, very sharp fabric scissors, or if you're doing it with leather, you can do it with um, an X-Acto knife. Uh, are those Probably labeled, better. do they have your name on them? Because Ken likes to label he'll, his he'll shears. Steal them. Oh yeah, and no. So Ken, and, Ken and Everybody I. Everybody has their own shears yeah. right here. Ken has a everyone's kit. shears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check Ken's car. He has like seven pairs of scissors. He always says, "I lost my scissors." You're like, "No, you I stole bought mine, for man." Christmas and he lost them again. So what yeah. you're gonna do is just cut it out nice and clean. And this is when you're gonna go in with a different color fabric pen or paint pen, depending on the fabric you're using. And you can save a whole step now. We don't need to actually cut out a whole nother layer. All you're going to do. There you go is add in your orange. Now, when you're oh. cutting the leather, yeah. it, I imagine it's probably much more difficult. So do should you absolutely use an X-Acto knife, or is the scissor actually going to go through it? Enough? No, right. the scissor totally works. It just happens to be that the X-Acto knife on le the exacto knife is easier, but it's not going to work on cotton because cotton will fray. Yeah. Leather mm. won't fray, so you can work your way around. Okay. So what you would do basically is create however thick of a border you want, mm -hmm. and now it's just a matter of deciding your placement. If you want to see your hem there, you're going to place it right above the hem. If you want to cover it or roll it under, those are all details up to you. I would use a little bit of tacky spray to get it in place, and this is 100% 
a fabric glue kind of segment. I, I mean, you could, of course, sew this, but look at how like ornate each little mm -hmm. oh, loop de loop. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of work. Yeah. So what I would do is kind of lay it in place here so everything is laying nice and flat. Can you wash Thank these you after are. you've done that? So the washing is fully, fully dependent on your garment, whatever, however you would wash it normally. So if this, if these <clears> jeans <throat> are normally machine washable and you're doing cotton, machine yeah. wash them. Try to do somewhat like fabrics. Okay. That way they're machine washable. Leather, I wouldn't wash anyway, so right. I'm not gonna wash yeah. it now. Exactly. So just follow your regular <clears throat> instructions. But like that denim jacket's fully machine washable. Sure.